We got some amazing breaking news coming from Eli Lilly in regards to ZepBound. Just today, Eli Lilly published a study for sleep apnea. 63% of the individuals with moderate to severe sleep apnea who took ZepBound found their incidence of sleep apnea decreased by over 30 events per hour. What does this really mean? Well, before we get started, I got to tell you that I'm an anesthesiologist. I'm a full-time physician, full-time father. If you can, please like and share this video because it really helped me out. Now, sleep apnea is a medical condition that affects all sorts of individuals, not only obese, but can affect even skinny people. The reason why this is important to remember is because the FDA has only cleared ZepBound and semiglutide for morbid obesity. But with this new research, it can be an indication that allows the clearance by FDA for semiglutide and ZepBound and I'm on the record as saying ZepBound is better than semiglutide, can be an indication to get FDA clearance, which would then entail health insurance coverage. Because right now, health insurers are refusing to pay for ZepBound and semiglutide because of the exorbitant costs. Now to my earlier point, sleep apnea comes in two flavors, one central, one obstructive. For central sleep apnea, ZepBound probably doesn't do a lot. But for obstructive sleep apnea, it does and can and makes sense that it does a lot. Why? Because when you're overweight, when you go to sleep, your tongue falls in the back of your throat and it obstructs your sleep, which leads to periods of hypopnea and hypooxygenation. This in turn causes a lot of people to gasp or wake up trying to suck in as much air as they can. This ruins your night of sleep and probably leads to a feeling of tiredness for the rest of your life unless you get the sleep apnea corrected. There are some surgical interventions for sleep apnea, but you know, they're still in the works. Why this is also important is because sleep apnea has many different side effects. Number one being an increase in incidence of strokes, heart attacks, vascular disease, central nervous disease, basically anything you can think of that has to do with decreased oxygenation. If you think about it, when your body senses a decrease in oxygenation, it's gonna do a fight or flight response. In the middle of sleeping, your fight or flight response is not that great. And because of that, in a period of an hour, you can go through 30, 60, 90 episodes of hypopnea and hypooxygenation. So that means for short bursts while you're sleeping, your body is deprived of oxygen. You and I both know how important oxygen is. Trust me when I say I put people to sleep every single day. I see incidents of sleep apnea all the time. There's no better way to reveal if you have sleep apnea or not unless you're getting propofol, which typically causes everything to relax. So it's very easy for me to tell who has sleep apnea and who doesn't. You don't need a sleep test to tell an anesthesiologist if a patient has sleep apnea or doesn't have sleep apnea. Now getting back to the original point, why is this such a big deal? Since these medications have been released, there has been a huge price tag that's been associated with them. You and I both know it costs about $1,200 to $1,500 a month to take these medications without insurance coverage. Some insurances are not covering it for morbid obesity and cardiac risk prote protection, but it is not the mainstay. With the recent study that shows that sleep apnea could potentially be improved, but if you are on ZepBound, this increases the indication profile for the medication. That means more than likely this medication is going to be covered very soon once it gets FDA approval. And FDA approval meaning an indication for sleep apnea. Now the other major point you need to take away from this video is that everything we eat is designed to kill us. I've been saying it all along, processed foods are probably not the best thing to eat. If you look at the mechanism of action of these medications, whether it's semiglutide or ZepBound, it increases the amount of time food stays in your stomach, which then decreases the total amount of food that you eat. And the amount of benefits that we're seeing, not only in liver failure, in depression, and anxiety, in Alzheimer's, cardiac, disease, stroke risk, diabetes, kidney disease, the list goes on and on. Now you can add sleep apnea to it as well. So what am I trying to get at here? These medications are a brand new class that basically affects your total body. These medications pretty much help decrease the reliance that we need on these foods. So why am I so excited? I think this is the first of many indications that will come down the pipeline in which we probably will see insurance coverage for ZepBound and semiglutide here in the near future. It's very exciting. This news is just breaking. I'll have more for it. I'll have the studies posted on my Facebook. Check it out. If you can, please like and share. Leave me a comment so this video gets some traction. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.